is Jordan. Today is Bookmas Day 12, the last day of Bookmas, which is crazy to me because I had a lot of fun making these videos, even though a lot of them were stressful along the way, but I am excited to talk about the classics that I want to read in 2019. I honestly want to read more classics lately, and I've tried to read one this year, but I end up the infinite. So, I have five classics to talk about, three that I've never read before, and two that I want to reread. So, let's get started. The first classic that I want to talk about is Treasure Island by Robert Louis Stevenson. I haven't read this since I was in the seventh grade, and I love this story. And after reading um, Daughter of the Pirate King and Seafire, it makes me want to reread this because it's a piratey book, and I just want to go back to all the adventures in this classic. And you guys get couldn't tell it's a Barnes & Noble Classics Edition. So, and I love this edition, especially this end paper. It looks really cool. And I just want to reread this as I haven't read in years. <laughs> Another classic that I want to reread next year is The Merry Adventures of Robin Hood by Howard Pyle. Again, this is another Barnes & Noble Classics Edition. And, and of course, the end paper is beautiful because as Sherwood Forest. I've been watching a TV show of Robin Hood with Kevin lately. It just makes me want to read it again. Plus, it's one of my favorite classics of all time. And I just love the concept of the story. And, it, and again, I just want to reread it since I've been watching a TV show of it. Now I'm going to be talking about the books that, or the classics that I never read before, but I really want to next year. And the first one is The Secret Garden by um, Frances Hodgson Burnett. I tried to, to read this this year, but I haven't, I DNF'd it because I wasn't in the mood for it. But, I th but I've heard some rumors that there's going to be a new movie adaptation of it, which got me excited and I want to watch it so badly. And I kind of want to read the book before I watch it, even though I've seen like two different versions of this classic, but I have like all the books I'm going to show you guys is Marcel Bell's classic edition, and I love the end papers for this one because it's all the flowers because that's the whole point of the story is the secret garden. But I wanted to read it since I was a kid, since I've watched two different movie adaptations of it with the new adaptation coming out soon. I just want to read it before I see it. The next classic that I want to read is. Sherlock Holmes by uh, Arthur Conan Doyle. Since I've read A Stay in Charlotte, which is a retelling of Sher Sher uh, Sherlock Holmes, I should say it makes me want to read it, especially like when I've seen parts of Robert Downey Jr. and Jude Law's um, movie adaptation of Sherlock Holmes. I kind of want to um, read it because I love mystery for one, one and two. I just want to read one of the first um, mysteries in literature history, and again, I love these Barnes & Noble's Classic Edition because of the end papers and the cover and the back. So, <laughs> anyways, I want to read it since I've been wanting to read it for so long. The last classic that I want to read in 2019 is King Arthur by Howard Pyle. Like, I've been wanting to, I've seen a, a movie adaptation of it, but I want to read the actual story of it, especially like when Disney made, made a sword in a stone, which is a King Arthur story. It makes me want to read it, especially when I want to know about the legend. Again, I can't stop looking at the beautiful Barnes & Noble Classic Edition because of the end papers. But anyways, I've been wanting to read it for so long, and I just think 2019 would be a perfect time to pick it up. So that is all for the classics that I want to read next year. I decided to pick five because I hardly... By myself, classics. I've been buying a lot of books um, lately, but I've been. But I don't count my book buying classics for my book buying band just because, like, I hardly buy myself classics, and I love classics. So anyway, if you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and comment down below some classics that you've read that I th probably will enjoy because I've read classics since I was in the seventh grade, and I want to read more of them in the future. And I know not a lot of people. Um, read classics, but I say, like, you don't have to if you don't want to. But anyways, if you want to follow me on social media, I have Facebook under Lost Mirror, and I have Twitter and Instagram on Lost Mirror 19. I also have Goodreach, which are linked down below. If you don't want to miss any of my new videos, hit subscribe if you haven't already. Happy holidays, and, I'll, and thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!